Yeah, yeah. Uh, just a little quick cramp, pushed off my foot and caught a calf cramp. Nothing crazy. Bo Brongard came in, stepped up, made some big plays for us. Pretty good performance out there today, 21 to 25, spread the ball around pretty well too. Yeah, no, I mean, number one, I just got to thank God, man, for uh, for today. Uh, you know, without him, I wouldn't be here. But, yeah, our offense did look great today. Uh, there was a couple times, you know, I felt like, you know, we, we stopped ourselves. You know, that pick, uh, it's that's on me. Didn't take my full drop. Let the D-line get up in my face. They tipped the ball. It's a pick. Um, so, you know, that's not on my O-line. That's on me. You know, I got to adjust my drops. And, again, we, we stopped ourselves, you know. I, I think we only punted one time, and it was there at the end. So, you know, coming out of our offense, we wanted to, you know, see what we could do as an offense today. And I felt like we did that. We checked the ball down. Uh, when they gave us shots, we took them. Um, and we spread the ball. And I, a lot of guys got touches today. And I, I was very happy about that. What things were you kind of looking to attack coming into this game? Really wasn't looking to attack anything. Uh, it's about us at the end of the day. And as our offense, uh, we were using this game to see, see who we are, what we can do. And I think we found out who we are and what we can do. And, and what we did was very successful today. And I think we're going to build upon that, you know, heading into this bye week and into the Missouri Valley. Do you like the bye week coming up or you think the momentum is going? No, I do. I, I really do like it. I mean, I think it's great for us, you know, give us a, a week, you know, to, you know, get healthy with some of our guys, a little lingering injuries, and we'll be, we'll be good with this. And it, and it helps us prepare for, you know, this Missouri Valley, um, you know, s schedule coming up because it's going to be tough. I mean, it's Missouri Valley football. So, yeah, so I, I, I truly think, you know, with this bye week, it gives us some time to really adjust and, and know that there's going to be some tough football to play ahead of us, and we're going to be ready for it. Just, uh, you, you targeted CJ six times and, and had six receptions plus six yards after the catch. Uh, you know, getting him the ball probably his best game. You know? Yeah, no, great to have him back on the field, man. You know, going into week one and, and, and into Ohio State, and then today he had a phenomenal game. Um, and again, it was just taking what the defense gave us. There's a couple of times I checked it down to him and he did some amazing things, you know, 20 plus yards after the catch on one of them. Like, you know, having him back on the field is going to help a lot get, you know, Bryce Oliver open, help our run game, you know, because now it's just not one or two guys, you know, we our receiving room is legit this year. And as you know, it, our running back room is, is pretty good. And then those boys up front, you know, I, I felt really comfortable in the pocket today. Uh, I felt like I had a great, a great time back there. Uh, and run game was incredible too. Again, which helped our throws downfield, a couple shots here and there. And then when they were off, they'd drop eight and check it down to CJ or Bryce and let them run. Talk about what it was like to see Brandon have that catch in the end zone, being a little bit like that. Uh, Brandon, you got to refresh me here. Oh, yeah, Brandon, sorry. Rano, man. Yeah, that, I, was, I was really happy for him, man. You know, our tight ends, you know, we use them a lot in the, in the, in the run game, they block. They block I mean, a lot. And, you know, just to see them be able to pop out, get a quick one here and there. And uh, Jake Benio even had a couple catches today. Uh, Brandon Serrano had a couple catches. It's nice to, to get our tight ends in the flats. And, again, he made a couple guys miss. I, I wasn't sure if he was going to get in, but he lowered his shoulder. He got in. I was extremely, extremely happy for him. Fish, uh, the pregame cleats, can you kind of take us through those and kind of what that means for you? Yeah, man, it's, it's truly a blessing, you know, to, you know, support the Rich Center and, and spread awareness for autism. And, uh, they came. They came to me about a month ago, and I talked to you know our coaches around here to make sure everything was okay with it. And you know, they, I went over there on Thursday. Sorry, getting a little emotional here. And uh, Michael Fuller had a box waiting for me when I came in, and he opened them up, and they were custom cleats, man. It was like, man, it's incredible. It, it really is, man. And you know, I'm gonna do a little, a couple little things with them over there. Go visit them every once in a while. Maybe get a couple other players. Uh, with me, to, you know, just go see those kids, man. It's, I, I'm just, I'm just truly blessed for real. And you know, to wear these cleats on my feet today, it, I, I truly felt like I, it was a little extra motivation for me to go out and and play well. You know, for for my team, you know, for this university, and especially for those those people over at the Rich Center.